Kimmy, let me go ahead and I know what she's going at. So what she's trying to ask me about is Bobby Ladd gave Ladd uh, some paperwork where this guy that was in prison, this dude named Michael DeRoe, alleged that I gave the money to, uh, or I offered $500,000 to, um, to him to have Biggie Small uh, or, or Puff, well, Puffy, Biggie Small kill. And, and so Bobby Ladd presented that paperwork. Of course, you know, Vlad, me and Vlad have a great relationship. So everybody called me. I knew about it. I have addressed it on several occasions. You may have even heard about it, Kimmy, where I, I told people that a guy that was trying to get out of jail or trying to get, you know, some love, Michael DeRoe, Crip from Compton Southside Crip, had pretty much said that made the accusations. But thank God, thank God that they take phone calls from, from prison because the way he got the, to be found out to, to be a liar, and you know, me and Michael DeRoe are real good, real good people, good dudes and all of that. I know him because I know Crips and I know Parus. But thank God they heard him telling the person that was supposed to be invalidating the, uh, the story telling them to say this and the police will be coming he said these friends guys said he got okay so didn't he just say he's friends with michael duro the guy who said that that he wanted to offer him five hundred thousand dollars to kill diddy or or biggie yeah he just accused him of that and said this guy said that he go so now they're friends right wow what's do that mate yeah that that that's the amazing healing power i guess you know, and he runs after me saying that I've accused him of stuff. This guy flat out tells the cops, he get me. Okay, so yeah, so apparently there was a phone call that proved him wrong. If you're going to say that about me, you ain't going to be my friend. Right. That, that's, his way, that's, his way of, that's his way of spending people again. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm friends and with everybody. Make sure that he I'm say this and say this. Friend. Where they overheard him pretty much lying and plotting to say this. But hey, just because somebody say you have something to do something, or do just like KVD been saying about Puffy since he's been talking, that is not enough to have you put in, in prison for, or that this is enough to get you investigated or to get you in question. I ain't done told y'all, I have no problem with my name being associated with the murder of Biggie Small because I don't. I don't care. I didn't know Biggie. I don't like being accused of, of, of a crime that I didn't commit, but I don't have a problem with it. The only reason and the only thing I defend and, and care about is for having something to do with the murder of Tupac because that's somebody I know. That's somebody who I was around. That's somebody that had entrusted me with his, uh, his, uh, um, his safety and that I, I, I let down and didn't do the correct thing. Or, okay. or the, the, the correct thing didn't happen for him, meaning well, did he wasn't able to go home. So you you are admitted to have affiliation with the Crips during that time. Oh, I was a cop in Compton for shit. I worked. No, for, uh, this, no that wasn't you know, the question. Was that was how he dodges that. He said you were affiliated with the Crips. He goes, yeah, yeah, I was. I was a cop at the time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Were the cops affiliated with the Crips? Well, is that what you're saying? You saying the cops were an extension of the Crips? I right. just caught that. So you're telling me you weren't associated with the Crips? Oh yeah, I was a Compton cop. Oh okay. Yeah. Well then, I guess we know. I guess we know how those lines were cut. Now, don't we? Exactly. Thank, Thank you for, for admitting it. Thank you, Thank you for we admitting that, that the Compton cops were were in with the Crips. Yes. Nice job. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for clearing that up. Video number seventeen hundred and fifty-two. Seven or ninety-six. I have been working in the city of Compton Police Department since 1984. I went to schools ever since I was uh, moved out of the Imperial Courts uh, housing project in Watts in uh, what that would have been like 1972. So, yeah, I played football, basketball, baseball, grew up in the city of Compton. I'm not a cop or an ex cop or something that lived in the suburbs and came down to the ghetto and police the ghetto. I lived right there. Both of my grandparents live in that city. So I'm a so Compton nice boy all the way. 
why would you think it'll still be documented in LAPD uh, records with your affiliation and you being a former cop? Why do you think it's still on record with you being associated with that? It's on record because it's information that was given. 